All right, guys, on our way to California, and we like to rent a car when we drive to California. If we don't fly, we usually like to try to rent a car because we don't like to drive our own vehicles down there, so it's easier just to rent a car. And so we got this minivan, but it's probably the nicest minivan I've ever been in. It's got like TVs for the kids, and, and then Lindsay opened up this drawer. If you look in that drawer, you can see what we found. Money and some Fig Newtons. See, babe, the car is already bringing us closer together. It's paying us back. Jared was gonna eat those Fig Newtons. I, I reminded him. No, you're not. Somebody's flaky hand could have been in there. <laughs> What's up guys? I just put a tic-tac in my mouth before I started this video, so that's why I'm talking funny. I'm gonna do a video talking about the new Concords that just released. I wanted to do it earlier because I got a pair early, but I wasn't too happy with that pair. And we'll talk about that later. I'll talk about the Concords, let's talk about the whole Concord release. I know there's been a lot of videos about it already, but in the meantime, Lindsay and I are here in Salt Lake going to a local event Really have no idea what to expect, but we're gonna go check it out. It's cold outside, so let's get inside and check it out. guys just leaving the event it was a really good event especially for Salt Lake you know we don't get a whole lot of those um, and it's a lot of the guys that I like to catch up with I wish we could have more of them wish they were bigger this is not LA but it's still fun to catch up those guys did a good job on the show Lindsay and I are gonna catch a movie and then we can talk about some Concords you guys all know what this is the Jordan 11 Concord from 2018 I want to talk about it a little bit give you my opinion compared to some of the past Concord releases and just want to talk about it a little bit. I wanted to do this video two or three weeks ago. And I got a pair on Sneakers app when they first released sort of that quick strike release um, on the Sneakers app. And I got lucky, got a pair two or three weeks before the, the big release came. And I got that pair in the mail and I opened it up and something wasn't quite right about them. There was several like kind of big issues that I was really upset about. I wish I would have got video of those, but I was actually so upset I actually just took them right back to Nike because I just couldn't believe that for $220 what I was getting. The first pair I got, the Jumpman, was, um, just wasn't in the right spot. It was, it was tilted and moved over, and it was, it was so obvious. You could, you, I could just take one quick look at it and knew something was wrong. It was not right. I, I compared it to another pair of, of the 2011s that I had. It was way off. So then I started looking closer and there was like the stitching here on the patent leather around the toe box. It had all these white threads in it. I mean, it was, it wouldn't be a big deal if it wasn't black patent leather, but it was black patent leather. You had black stitching with these white threads all through it. And it was, it just stood out. It looked really, really bad. So that was just on one shoe. Pulled out the other shoe. It had some similar issues and I was so upset. I just took them right back. I just like, these, this is, these are trash. This is terrible. I couldn't believe it. But I gave it a second chance during the big release. Got another pair hoping I get a little better quality pair. It looks like I did. So let's talk about them a little bit. Um, you guys all have seen this. I don't want to spend too much time on the big review of the shoe. But it's got the high cut patent leather. Um, and the big thing is it's got the 45. Now, when Jordan first debuted these in 95, this is what you saw. You saw the 45. They didn't have the 23. I remember when I first saw them. He had the 45 on the back and it turned heads quick. Everybody wanted a pair instantly. You know, the big thing was, hey, the 45 should have been stitched. I agree. Why not stitch the 45? I know people that have gotten this already where the, the 45 is like peeling off. I know some people that have got the Jordan and I'll put a picture up. It's like missing arms. I mean, how do you miss arms on the Jordan, the Jumpman logo? Of course, when they finally released, they did have the 23. There were some sample pairs 
the got out that were uh, that had the 45 on the back. I actually know somebody that has a pair of those, so I'll try and show those in this video. But it's your typical Concorde. There's not a whole lot different other than the high cut patent leather. There are a few things that still kind of bug me for $220. Um, I think the quality should, should still be a little bit better. Um, on the midsole, they've got these little nibs, which I know it's not a huge deal, but for a $220 shoe, those type of things should be removed. There should be some labor put into that to remove those type of things. I get it. It's part of the manufacturing process. You can't always get away from that. But th So that's one thing that bugs me. Um, they got the Jumpman right on this pair. It seems to be centered. It seems to be in the right location. Stitching on the Jumpman is like so-so. It's not great. I'll show some close-ups of that and compare it to previous years. But it is a Concorde, okay? Nike knows that they're releasing a shoe that everybody wants. And unfortunately, the quality on this one wasn't as good as past releases. They made, the rumor is they made a million pairs. Don't know if that's true or not. Probably somewhere close to that if you include all the, the GS and the kids sizes. So maybe that's true. They didn't sit. They sold out quick. Everybody wanted them. But um, again, it's your typical Concord release. They got the carbon fiber. That looks good. The sole looks good. This is why they call it Concord, because of the Concord purple on the bottom. Um, and there's some Concord, of course, in the Jumpman here. So overall, look, I'm gonna buy it. It's a Concord. Jordan 11s are my favorite. They always, they always have been my favorite. Nike knows everybody's gonna buy it. I wish that they would just treat this. I mean, if they're gonna put out any shoe and get the quality right, it should have been this shoe. This to me is like, the flagship Nike Jordan release. When you release a Concord, this is what everybody wants. This should be like the best of the best. They cranked them out. They still sold them. They still made their money. Um, and I think they know they knew they were going to do that. So they didn't have to get into all these details that guys like me look for. So overall, oh, look, there's Nike Air. It says Nike Air in the, on the insole. I didn't know that. I know that the originals did say that. That's a, that's a nice little touch. I didn't notice that. So again, in the end, look, I'm going to buy it. It's a Concord. Of course, I'm going to gonna grab a pair. But my first experience with them when I first got them was horrible. I've, I've actually never opened a pair of Jordans and been like, wow, these are so bad. I want to take them back, especially a pair of 11s. But that's exactly what I did. I just couldn't like stand to look at white thread in the black patent leather toe box. It was It was ridiculous. So... Took that pair back, gave it a second chance. Here they are, not too bad. So let's start off with the original 1995 release. So this, this pair right here, this is a DS pair from 1995 and I've got the 2018 release right here just for comparison. But uh, you know, take a quick look here at just overall, I mean, basically the same thing. There are some subtle differences, you know, like on the upper here, there's like, it's actually two pieces, whereas on the, the new the new part there's not there's not two pieces split up so if you look at the 90 95 pair you can see like the upper was split and sewn together in two different spots you can really see it right back here as well right there the jump man of course is pretty crazy stitching i mean hopefully you guys can see that really good but not too great you got the 23 on the back um and overall it's just sort of a i mean back in the day this was the shoe you can tell that of course the quality of the material i mean actually like the firmness and thickness of the materials the the leather quality is actually really good but the way it's put together is just sort of it's not really got the the craftsmanship that the newer versions have i think the the, the methods of constructing the shoe have gotten a lot better so anyway there's a quick look at the 95 compared to the the 2018 release right there. So up next, and I'll just keep the, the 2018 release up. This is a pair from 2001. This is also a DS pair, but look at the difference. In fact, let me just put all three of them up here. Look at the difference in the sole. Like I've treated all these the same. And you can see right off the bat that the 2001, for whatever reason, has this yellow, yellow sole they've all been treated and stored the same exact way. So the material difference between 95 and 2001, whatever they did, created a bunch more yellowing in that sole. You can see it right there. 
So here, let's get the, let's get rid of this one and just compare it again. So things got a little better in 2000, uh, 2001. They um, they still have that two piece upper, but the jump man, again, he's kind of weird looking. He's got like a bent leg, um, just doesn't quite look right. Again, the bottom of the sole, really yellow, but it still has that low cut. And that's the other thing. Look at look at the the difference in the height between the the two. Um, patent leather cuts. It's not a, not a huge difference between, you know, the, the, the cut, but you can see that they are definitely cut higher on the 2018. So there's the 2001s compared to the 2018s. Um, again, the 23 on the back, not stitched on, but it's just got that sort of a decal or iron on type decal, but Still a solid shoe even in 2001. Let's do a quick comparison with the DMP pack from 2006. So these are not technically what you'd call Concord because there's no Concord purple on this pair, but um, they basically replaced the traction pods. You can see here, they're black. Um, they replaced them with black and, and took away the purple, but they've got the gold jump man um, and the gold 23 on the back. And besides that, everything else is basically the same. The sole does have a little bit different tint. It's not got that blue color. It's, they've actually added sort of a yellow gold tint to that. Um, so that's the 2006 pair from the DMP pack. And this, of course, was a highly sought after pair. A lot of people wanted this. It was actually uh, kind of difficult to get. A lot of people lined up to get this 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 pack. So. Anyway, I'm glad I got it. Let's jump to the next pair, which would be the 2011 pair. And here is the 2011 pair that released. And again, we've got the 2018 pair here. Again, not a whole lot of differences other than the 23 and the, the 45. Everything else is basically the same. Um, the patterns are slightly different on the upper, but not, not a huge deal. So you can see the reverse jump man. They, they went back to the reverse jump man on the 2018. In 2011, it had the, the jump man facing the other way. A lot of people claimed, oh, they're fake if it's facing this way. That's not always true. It depends on the year that they released. So again, not a whole lot of differences between this pair and the 2018. This pair is getting a little bit yellow around the traction pods, but not a big deal. So there's a good comparison. Again, take a look at the, the patent leather. I don't know if you can see that really well. You can see the difference in height. One pair I definitely do not want to forget are the Concord Lows, released in 2014, I believe. Um, There's rumors that these have been around for a long, long time. Finally, they got a mass release in 2014, but uh, they still have the low, the low cut patent leather. Nothing is really different other than there's no jumpman on the side, jumpman in the back, but everything is the same as far as bottom, the bottom um, and the tongue. But we definitely don't want to leave those out as those are considered a Concord. Okay, so there you have it. A quick comparison of all the Concord 11s that have been released since 1995. Um, I, will, I will lay these all out next to each other downstairs and kind of just do a quick pan through so you guys can take a quick look at them. solid you know I guess I give it a C C plus release it could have been better but again they sold out so what can we do so you guys tell me what you think what grade would you give this release I'm giving it a C what do you guys think